So as many of you are well aware, Puerto Rico was hit a while ago by Hurricane Irma and just recently was followed up by Hurricane Maria. Both storms hit Puerto Rico very hard as many are dealing with the destruction. Here are a few images of what some are dealing with and as you can see, Hurricane Maria has messed them up very badly. To the point where now Puerto Rico is now left without power. For how long, no one can really say. I've seen a few reports telling me a few weeks to a few months to a few years. Again, no one knows for sure. en mi vida había pasado un huracán como este. Yo cumplí ayer en el huracán compré 71 años. Estaba limpiecito hasta que llegaron los vientos esos de huracanado fuerte. Porque me va a surgir esto, que está con estos barcos. This article from ABC News states the count has risen in total to 49 lives lost across the Caribbean in total. A lot of families in Puerto Rico are running out of supplies such as food, water, medicine, and even gasoline for cars and backup generators. This morning, many families are desperate, focused on basic needs. With no power, most are using generators. Now, days after Maria made landfall, they need gas to keep them going, creating long lines at gas stations with no guarantees of actual gas. How long have you been waiting for gas? For three hours. What are you going to do? Are you going to try again tomorrow? Sure. Uh, be here uh, as early as possible. Um, and the governor here has extended the curfew indefinitely. He's telling people to stay off the streets from 7 p.m until 5 a.m. Efforts are being made to send more resources to Puerto Rico. However, it's been a very slow process. Now I'm making this quick video to hopefully spread what awareness and help that I can. And I know I have fans in Puerto Rico who I've talked to about the hurricane and they've been struggling since it's happened. I'll leave links to some donation sites that you can visit and consider contributing to. There's a lot of GoFundMe pages. There's All Hands Volunteers, UNICEF USA, just to name a few. Again, links will be down below. The president said today next Tuesday is the earliest he can visit Puerto Rico without disrupting relief operations there. More now from White House correspondent Margaret Brennan. Everybody has said it's amazing the job that we've done in Puerto Rico. We're very proud of it. I think we're really getting really good marks for the work we're doing. So uh, I think we've done a really good job. We're President Trump said Puerto Rico's governor personally thanked him today for the federal response. But the president had been noticeably silent about the worsening devastation. Last night, Mr. Trump sent his first tweets on the crisis, pointing out that before the storms, Puerto Rico was, quote, already suffering from broken infrastructure and massive debt. Mr. President, these are American citizens. They desperately need our help. Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the state with the largest Puerto Rican population, said Mr. Trump was not doing enough. He insists that relief and recovery efforts are doing well or doing great. Sometimes it has no relationship to the facts on the ground as if this is a public relations campaign. Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio visited Puerto Rico yesterday. I mean, every day that goes by, it's going to get worse, not better. This is an island sitting in the middle of an ocean, and it's a big ocean. It's a very big ocean, and uh, uh, it, we're, we're doing a really good job. FEMA Administrator Brock Long said local authorities must do more so to prepare for natural for disasters. We do not have a true culture of preparedness in this country, and we got a lot of work to do. 
Many have been critical of Trump's aid towards Puerto Rico. This news clip is from CBS News, and this is what the governor of Puerto Rico had to say. This is going to be, uh, this is a major disaster. Uh, we need the funding necessary to act appropriately. We need the flexibility, unlike any other state before. Uh, this is an unprecedented event. There needs to be unprecedented relief for Puerto Rico so that we can start the immediate effort right now with deployment of resources, but also the mid to long run, uh, run recovery. Uh, and if we have that, uh, we can avoid a humanitarian crisis in the United States. But if we don't have that, you will see uh, thousands, if not millions, of Puerto Ricans flocking to the United States, which will cause a demographic uh, severe problem in Puerto Rico as well as in the United States. So let's take action. My call is clear. Uh, administration, uh, they've been helpful up until now, but, I, but we need more help. So of course, Puerto Rico needs as much help as they can get right now, especially when having to deal with floods. A dam in Puerto Rico is said to have been at risk to people. Word is spreading that possibly the dam is breaking and is going to flood the area. This clip is from NBC News talking about the subject. Hurricane Maria dumped more than 15 inches of rain on this area, swelling a man-made lake. When engineers noticed a crack here at the Oaxaca Dam, a desperate scramble began to evacuate. Tonight, the Army Corps of Engineers is assessing whether this dam will hold up as residents near it are evacuated. Hay que desalojar, hay que desalojar. This woman says she was told to leave immediately, but there's a crippling confusion of information. The government's still unable to reach more than half of the island's municipalities. Authorities at first saying the evacuation zone affected up to 70,000 people. Today, we learn the actual number was much lower, just hundreds in certain communities near the dam. Today also had a new story on the dam as well, stating that the dam was further inspected. In northwest Puerto Rico, engineers are inspecting a major dam after finding a crack, but thankfully so far, it's holding. But despite news reports on this saying the dam has failed, this is false according to Juan Brown from his Bonk Illyrio channel. Despite reports of the dam failing at Guajataca Lake, that's not exactly the situation. The emergency spillway is overflowing and the emergency spillway is suffering some head cutting erosion. And the unfortunate design of this 1929 design is that the emergency spillway dumps its water off right at the base of the dam, threatening the integrity of the dam. That is the cause for the evacuation of over 70,000 people, which has since been reduced or rescinded. Another unfortunate thing is people are showing footage of flooding from Hurricane Maria and blaming it on the dam at Guajateca, when that's not clearly not the case at all. And here's where the emergency spillway water flows once it's overtopped. It overtops that highway and pours on down the armored chute. This is by design and a low point in the dam structure. But ultimately, this isn't looking very good right now, and it's very depressing, and I know I wouldn't want to be put in a position like this. But I think all we can do right now is try to support and help pick up the pieces. So what do you think about all this? What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Thanks to anyone who has donated. I honestly wish the best of luck to people enduring the aftermath of these hurricanes. I hope to hear from you all again very soon.